Hey y'all, welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara and we're a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. Today we're turning a 1960s dresser that's a little funky and in need of a facelift into a sleek media cabinet with a brand new base. So join me in the garage and watch this outdated dresser get a fresh new makeover. So we're starting off with a 1960s Broyhill dresser. We actually picked up this in a three-piece set. It had these little bun feet on the bottom of it, and we're going to go ahead and remove these because this is going to get a brand new base with a whole updated look. Now that I've got those little feet off and this heavy dresser flipped over, it's time to give everything a good clean. I love finding stuff in old pieces of furniture and this is no exception. It's a Broyhill tag from the dresser originally and it talks about all the wonders of veneer and how veneer is going to be the next best thing, which I thought was pretty funny. So when I clean my pieces, I like to use crud cutter or simple green mixed up to the package directions. And this has a lot of little intricate details and edges. So I need to make sure that I get in there really well. If you don't clean your piece well, any dirt, dust, debris, or grease that's left behind will really ruin your paint job in the future. So you gotta make sure that it's done very, very thoroughly. It takes the longest on pretty much an entire furniture flip. The longest thing you will spend your time on is cleaning it, but it has to be done correctly. Oh yes, the lovely hardware is going to go away. I do not plan on using these again. I found something really fun for this piece. So these lovely little knobs here are going to be taken off. Now it's time to scuff sand my dresser. I've got my squishy foam pad on my three x four electric ray surf prep sander. Doesn't matter much for the top of the dresser as far as the squishy pad, but when I get into these little details on the front of the dresser, it ensures that my sandpaper is going to fit into those grooves. Now it's time to wipe back my sanding dust and get ready to paint. I'm going to be using Sherwin-Williams Chalky Finish paint in the color Caviar. It's one of their deepest blacks and it runs perfectly through our gravity fed HVLP sprayer.
We're using a fine grit sanding sponge to sand in between coats. This will require two full coats of the black caviar chalk paint. using Helmsman Min Wax Spar Urethane that's water-based for our top coat. And when you do a darker color, especially like black, I like to add a little bit of my paint color into my poly. That way it doesn't leave a cloudy finish. Now it's time to build the base for this dresser. I am following the exact same base that Andrea builds over at DIY Wife. So I'm not gonna give you a play-by-play. -play. You can go watch her base tutorial if you'd like to have the step-by-step -step instructions, but I'm going to assume at this point that you have already seen her channel with as huge as she is. Um, big thank you to Andrea for showing us how to make these bases. It really ups the game on our dressers and our pieces of furniture. We got a Craig jig for Christmas, so I was really excited to get this guy out of the box and learn how to use this. So the base was a perfect way for us to tackle this fun new piece of equipment. I'm going to use gold gilding wax from Dixie Bell to help highlight some of these details on the front of the dresser. When I painted it black, it made it everything just sort of blend in together. So I need to find a way to make these pop once again. I love that little bit of difference that that gold gilding wax makes on these details. So this was our first time doing this DIY base build. And in all honesty, it was a bit tricky. And I didn't feel very confident in this until we got towards the end of the build and I understood a little more how the Craig jig worked and we started to put it together. 
I really want to build this base a few more times to get comfortable with the process. And we will definitely be doing this again because this will change the price point on this dresser or whatever we add it to, which is a really nice advantage for all of our furniture pieces. I'm really grateful that we tried it, especially for this project. I think it definitely added that little extra something that this dresser needed. I found the perfect black shiny knobs with gold bases at Hobby Lobby. They're gonna give the perfect finish to these new doors. Let's get one last look at our before, before we look at our after. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We are really close to hitting our goal of 5,000 subscribers. We just appreciate you being here and we'll see you next week on Lemons to Lemonade.